Melissa. We all enjoy these warmer temperatures, but the melting, ponding, and refreezing can pose plenty of pitfalls for pedestrians. So to avoid a fall and a possible trip to the ER, Gunderson Health Systems' Megan Anderson is with us this morning uh, with some tips to stay safe in the winter. Megan, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Uh, so what, uh, I guess, what is the big concern from falls? Obviously it can dampen your day, but what sorts of injuries do we typically see from somebody who suffers a fall? Sure, so injuries we usually see would be like neck and back strains, possible fractures of the elbow, arm, or wrist, and then, um, you know, concussions are always a potential if you do fall and hit your head. Yeah, it's not uh, not just uh, something you're going to fall and take a little bump. Sometimes, you know, depending on uh, how fast you're going, how hard you fall, it can pose some significant health problems. So what are your best tips to uh, prevent any t falls this time of year in the ice and snow? Sure. So making sure that you're always wearing proper footwear for the weather, um, walking cautiously, making sure that your hands are free, not in your pockets or you're not carrying too much. Um, we say walk like a penguin, so taking kind of smaller, more careful steps. And then a few um, additional things just to be aware of when you're getting in and out of vehicles um, that can cause injury. So just really, um, you know, using your vehicle to stabilize you when you're getting in and out. And like you said, in the spring here, as we see warmer temperatures during the day, um, you know, all of that water can freeze overnight when we still have um, temperatures below zero. So just making sure that, um, you know, sidewalks are still salted and um, you're, you're extra cautious in the morning. Yeah, take a little bit of extra time, check your footing, especially like you said there when getting out of a vehicle. And I love the walk like a penguin advice. That's something uh, my boys and I always practice uh, when we're uh, walking to the car. It's just, you know, they, they live on the ice. Why not uh, take, a, take a, a, a page out of their book? Uh, lastly, what should you do if you do suffer a fall? I mean, I think instinct is to try to get up right away, uh, but is that the case? Yeah, so, um, you know, what you want to do is try not to um, fall on outstretched arms. That's sometimes where we see some of those injuries, so if you can prevent that. But if you do have a fall, I think your instinct is to get up right away. Um, I think you should just, you know, not to worry too much about being embarrassed. Um, just take a minute to, to really check, do a short body scan to make sure you don't have any injuries before you um, get up and walk away. Yeah, take, a, so take some time to make sure you're all right before you try to move anything, maybe injure something further. And uh, like you said, don't fall with extended arms. I have a broken wrist from fifth grade that uh, says that. Uh, thank you, Megan, for being with us this morning. And we appreciate your tips uh, for these uh, wintry conditions. Thank you. All right, it's now nine minutes before seven o'clock. Time for your morning sparks on this Monday. Today's challenge while driving, point to and say the names of things that are square and have your child do the same. Now this helps build brains by creating a connection between pointing and the objects being pointed to, which creates a valuable way for young ones to communicate. We'll be right back to recap today's top stories.